As would I. And more. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon, a fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. To conjure the dragon queen and lay waste to Baldur's Gate. A ten day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm, the first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul, and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness, and I said yes, one soul for one city. She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zaria. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and ooze the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. It is the one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. <laughs> 